Hi guys, so this is the IKEA mom bed. This is a king size bed. We're gonna have two front panels. That's what you're gonna get in the box. Two front panels, side panel, other side panel, and the back panel. We're gonna we have two uh, rails which is coming uh, on the sides. It's gonna support uh, the mattress. All those screws coming together and maybe on the other side, one here. It's gonna come on the middle. Uh, it's extending. So this is it what coming in the box. A lot of screws. Scale. Don't be. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah. And we're starting with the bottom panel of the bed frame. We're gonna have three plastic legs. Just secure them in with a hammer on the bottom part of the back panel. Front panel see those four big holes at the bottom the legs coming on the opposite side so this is the bottom part of the, of the front panel you're gonna have four long screws just secure them in with the key which IKEA provide grip them in one two twists and then secure them with the key those uh, screws they have a head so don't mix them up you're gonna have another screw screw four different screws without a head they come in somewhere else so four screws with a head to this back panel just secure it in there is a stopper at the end just stop when it stops you right there there it is front panel of the bed frame exactly the same you're gonna have four screws with the head just twist them in and secure it with the key till the stopper no deeper no higher otherwise you're gonna have a bit of problem when you're gonna connect the bed frame so secure them in and screw them till the stopper and this is the fourth one so you're gonna have four at the back panel and four on, on the front panel so this is the front panel all four screws in it's another four wooden plugs five wooden plugs I forgot one at this point but I remember it there it is five wooden plugs you're gonna have three wooden plugs on the side panels this is the side panel on the other side of the bed another side panel so three plugs on each side secure them in with a hammer this is the new mom the side panels are already connected you see there is like a kind of l-shaped I have the old one in a different video where you're connecting those panels this is the headboard of the bed will be connected with the front panels four long screws those ones are the screws i was talking about without a head so just secure them in and tie them in with the key which ikea provide there's a stoppers stopper ones again on a screw just right there stop don't go deeper don't go higher those ones are quite important as they're gonna be connected with the front panel of the bed frame and they're gonna get a lot of pressure whenever you sit on the bed or pressing against the panel so make it right okay we can connect the bottom panel of the bed and the headboard together in the instructions you have you build the frame first and then you connect the top panel here I decided to do it first because I want to show you how is it connected so just find the holes with the wooden plugs which we put before it's a five of them and four screws secure them in once you halfway through you can lift it up so we can press it standing up it's easier because they're going quite hard so just press it in on one side another side till there is no gap between one side another side there it is so when it's nice and flat you can put it there's gonna be four nuts and four washers 
which is going to secure those two panels together. So the nuts and the washer coming in. You can tie the nuts as much as you can, so you're going to have easier time when you're going to secure them with the key completely. I'm going to have another three here, exactly the same nut and a washer. Third one, exactly the same. Secure it in. If you go too deep, you have a problem to put the washer. So unscrew it a little bit and put the washer in and tidy it up. Last one, secure it. And tighten them up with the key, which IKEA provide as well. So secure it. Make sure this is tied up properly. Go firm, but don't go crazy over it. We don't want to uh, rip uh, those screws out from the big panel. So just make them nice and tight. And we can prepare the side panel. This is the locks. Just place them in. You see the arrow is pointing at the front of the side panel. Exactly the same on the other side. Make sure those arrows are in the right position, otherwise you're going to have a problem at the end. So point the arrow to the front of the panel and place the locks in. Place the locks in, exactly the same on the other side. Point the arrow to the right direction and place the lock. Can push them completely in that's the right position and now we can join the um, the frame so the side panel so the front panel as i mentioned you can do this before you're joining the big panel at the front the extending panel but i did it differently because i want to show you how it's done Just twist the locks once you feel the grip, one side, another side. Don't go completely with one at first. So go one little twist, another one twist. Exactly the same on the other side. So just place it in and twist the lock slowly. You're gonna feel the grip, it's gonna come closer and closer. So that's the right, you're in the right place. Just secure them firmly. The bottom of the bed, exactly the same. Place it in close as you can. You're gonna get about two millimeters from the from the side panel. Not gonna get completely flat before you start to tighten the locks. So just secure them one after another one. You're gonna see, it is very easy to twist them. So don't use any force. If you have to use a force, there is something wrong. So go again and try again. See how close we are from the side and it's tightening up. A slowly one, another one. And again, one, another one. See, it's closing up nicely. That's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to go very easy. Only at the end, you get more resistance as you already closed in. So just secure them firmly and that's how it's supposed to be. Get a lot of questions about this, but it's very simple. Just if you just follow the instructions, you should get there. Okay, this is the rails on the side panels. Just secure them in with the screws. This is going to hold the whole mattress and the uh, slats. Just place the screws. There's a few of them. Make sure this is secured properly. This is going to hold a lot of weight. There's two small screws on the side. I'm going to tell you later on what for it is. Just place them in for now. Other side exactly the same, another, another rail on a side panel. See there is a 
two line of holes on the side panel you can choose how high you want to have the mat rats in this case we're gonna go with the higher position you can go lower if you want to see less of the mattress but I would suggest the higher one because once you sit on the bed you're not gonna touch the side panel the wooden part two small screws on the side and this is the bracket at the front of the bed which is gonna hold the mid beam two screws and two small screws on the side exactly the same this is the back of the bed the bottom of the bed bracket secured with two screws and two small screws just place them in for now there it is okay there's gonna be stoppers this is gonna stop uh, the slats from sliding up and down so it's just the screw from under the rail and there is a plastic on the top just secure it I would suggest to don't hold with the fingers here the plastic part as it has a um, sharp grip so you may um, hold it with the pliers or with the something or be careful when you're doing with the with the fingers as I do it here because once you spin it you get to the point where it is a start to spin the plastic and you can um, you can scratch your fingers so exactly the same is going to be on the fourth part at the at the end of the rails and we have the done this is the mid beam is it two screws is going to be stoppers as well on the top and on the bottom of the mid beam exactly the same like on the rails screw and the plastic on the other side watch out your fingers here this is the one and the second one just place it in and secure it other side exactly the same two screws one it fell off at this point but we have one and the other one back in and secure it you can place the mid beam just hook it on the bracket front one extend it and hook it at the back that's it they're not screwing this one it's just uh, just holding on the hooks on the bracket and the mid beam and we have the, those small screws so this is basically uh, gonna have four rails the at this point the bed should be in a, in a right um, a right position so 90 degrees on each corner so this secure the bed uh, from moving in a different angle so secure them on those screws two on the bracket two on the, each side and secure them on the middle lock them on the middle and we can place the slats just place them on the stoppers which we did one side and one on the mid beam place them in that's the first slot and then just slide it down all the way and hook it on the stoppers at the back there it is and exactly the same on the other side hook it on the stoppers at the front slide it down and hook it on the stoppers at the bottom you can choose different uh, slots from IKEA IKEA they provide I think two or three different uh, types and the mattress this one is quite thick and firm just place it in and the bed is done you're gonna have four storage drawers I'm gonna show you how to do two so we're doing two at the same time right now this is side panels so we're gonna have four side panels for the two drawers so each drawer have a two side panels so four side panels just place the wooden plugs one on each side and two metal locks on each side so each side panel have a four metal locks place the locks don't forget to put point the arrow on the lock in the right direction so it's facing the side of the side panel just place them in get them ready to be connected with the front and the back panel okay those are done now we putting two screws on each panel this is the back panels gonna have two because we're doing two drawers at the same time and two front panels have two screws as well on each side so if you do if you're doing doing one drawer only you're gonna have one front panel one back panel 
but we're doing a two drawers at the same time. So we have two back panels, which I'm doing right now, and two front panels, that's the bigger ones and thicker ones. They have two screws on each side, so four screws for each panel. So secure them until the stopper and we can join the side panels. Watch out where is the hole on a side panel, because there's going to be bottom uh, panel connected, so the, the side with the holes is coming at the, at the bottom of the drawer. Secure the locks on each side, it's two locks on each side, and this is the back panel. Just place them in the right holes, tap it all in, watch out where is the holes on the edges. They have to be at the bottom of the drawer as we're going to connect uh, the bottom panel later on. Okay, we got the frame ready for two drawers, secure them with the locks on both sides, just secure them in, twist the locks, and we can place the back panel. This is a nice solid back panel to so just slide them in a gap at the bottom of the front panel and secure them with the long screws along the bottom of the drawer. I think you have three on each side, so nine screws here, long screws. There we go, you see, that's why I was saying, watch out where is the holes on the side and the back panels. If you put them upside down, you're not gonna be able to put the bottom panel. You're gonna have four uh, wheels on each drawer. Just secure them with the two screws. It's quite hard to get in there, but be patient for this operation. <laughs> right, another drawer, exactly the same place, the back panel first on the front panel and secure it with the screws. I'm gonna have nine screws for each drawer. And we can place the four wheels on this uh, drawer. And there it is, we have everything ready. Mount bed with the four drawers, four storage drawers, just slide them under the bed. They should go nice and easy, those wheels are quite easy to slide in, so it's a good storage space for this IKEA mount bed. If you have older model of this bed, i uh, gonna leave the link in the description, I have a video on it already. The difference is in the side panels, uh, they have to be connected together, on this one they are glued already together. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, if yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always, you will make my day, I'll see you in my next one very very soon, thank you for watching, have a beautiful day.